Hello BASD community, uh, BASD faculty, staff, parents, students in our larger community. I want to give an update uh, as things are rapidly changing with regard to the number of cases in the community and in the state. So our area, Northampton County and Lehigh County now are both in what the state calls substantial spread. That means that the number of new cases in a seven day period is greater than 100 per 100,000 residents. So Northampton County crossed that barrier, uh, that threshold uh, at the end of last week. Lehigh County did two weeks ago. And also we crossed a threshold of trying to stay below 5% in the positivity rate of tests. And Northampton County is at 6.5%. So what that means is that um, if we are in a substantial um, spread, for two weeks in a row, which I honestly fully assume this week will be a substantial spread as well, uh, the Department of uh, Department of Education will recommend that uh, districts in our county um, go to a fully remote, fully online model. They recommended that last week, um, or at, yeah, last week to the Lehigh County districts, and the Lehigh County districts, looking at all of the data concluded that they would continue with their hybrid model. And I have to tell you, if we're in substantial for two weeks, uh, as of now, our plan will be to continue with our hybrid model and not to go 100% online. The reasons for that, our mitigation works, social distancing, the hybrid model, wearing masks, hand hygiene. We still to this date have not had a case of, of COVID spread within the school. All of the cases that have affected our students and our staff have come from outside in the community and they're out of school lives. We have not had spread in school. Our every other day schedule helps with that, as you've heard me say before. Uh, so one reason we'll, uh, at this point, continue to stay open, uh, even in the substantial, is that we're not having spread in schools. Kids are safe. Two, our partners, our uh, partners at St. Luke's and the City of Bethlehem Health Bureau support uh, our staying open at this point um, based on, on our numbers and on our mitigation strategies. Uh, next, our kids need it. Our kids need to be in school. Two days a week isn't enough, um, but two days is all we have right now. We want to keep two days in both educationally and for the uh, social emotional welfare of our, of our children. And finally, parents have jobs and people have adjusted to this uh, hybrid schedule as best they can, I understand. Um, but we don't want to throw a huge curveball in right before the holidays and now have students uh, um, not come to school at all. So we'll only do that um, assuming that we have no spread in school, uh, assuming that the health department continues to support that and tell us that's, that's a good plan. Um, but that is our plan for now. At the same time, behind the scenes, you know, we're prepared in case we have to have a short-term closure. You may have seen Lots of other districts have had short-term closures. Um, we will have a short-term closure if they're spread in schools. We haven't had that yet, but if there is, we have plans that are being shared with the teachers and the principals, and then will be explained to parents if we get to that point. Uh, again, hopefully we won't. A few other points I just wanted to make quickly. The end of the first marking period uh, was last week. Uh, we're very concerned about students, particularly in the e-classroom, but also students in hybrid that aren't engaging in their academics on the days uh, that they're not in school. Uh, so for the e-classroom students, who the teachers don't get to see at all, if an e-classroom student has a failing mark for the first marking period, the guidance counselors and assistant principals, principals will be in touch with those students and families uh, to discuss returning that student to the hybrid model. Because we know it's safe, because it's only two days a week, we know that the critical value of having the teacher be able to see the child who's failing a course two days a week um, is critical. So we'll be inviting those students back to participate in the hybrid model. Um, we need to focus on student success uh, and balance it with safety. Um, next, we have, despite the rumors I heard this weekend, we have no plans to close between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, as of now, uh, there are, we haven't even had that discussion internally. We, we don't have that. That's not a plan. Um, unless, and things change even worse than they already are in the community and we're forced into something else. 
But again, our plan is to remain open in the hybrid model. Uh, we also, I want to thank parents for finishing the, for doing the survey, the parent survey. Uh, we have those results, it, it closed Friday. Um, so we'll be, we're gonna put those into nice uh, charts and then uh, post the surveys online over by the end of the week, I would say. Uh, and finally, finally, um, please, we have to double down on the safety measures, on the mitigation measures. This virus spreads uh, dangerously fast, as we can see. So uh, keeping our social distance, wearing the mask, hand hygiene, and another big piece and that parents have done a good job with uh, in schools is the symptom checks and keeping your kids home from school if they have any of the symptoms that are uh, indicative of possible COVID, uh, a COVID positive. Um, that helps, that's why we haven't had the spread in schools. Um, so we have to continue to pay attention to the symptom check. And finally, uh, parents, when you're coming to school, when you're picking kids up, uh, taking them home, uh, please make sure you always wear your masks too. We're all in it together. If we all do our mitigation strategies together, we can keep each other safe as we have so far in our schools. All right, I'm sure that I'll be giving you another update uh, in a week after we've had our, uh, what I assume will be our second week in substantial spread and I'll give you an update on what I've heard from the Department of Health and the PDE at that time. And remember, a pandemic is not an individual health crisis, it's a community health crisis. Uh, we're in it together. Let's continue to treat each other with compassion and grace. Thank you.